Hello. Eh, hola, mi nombre es Javier Caballero, soy el jefe de cocina de la Taberna Lavardero y vengo con parte de mi equipo al Hotel Amulac, al Festival Food que se celebra en Riyadh y estamos encantados de estar aquí y poder ofrecer lo mejor de la cocina española. Eh, vamos a empezar con, con una serie de ensaladas, luego seguiremos con unos, eh, unos segundos de carne y pescado, acabaremos con unos postres y no puede faltar la paella. Eh, os voy a presentar lo que sería el empiece de, del frío. Esto es el salmorejo, que es una crema fría de tomate, eh, pimentón, aceite, eh, pimiento rojo, pan y va con guarnecido de huevo. Luego seguiríamos por aquí. Tenemos hojaldre relleno de, de espinacas con gambas y, y piquillo. Luego tenemos empanada de carne. ...y también tenemos salsa de pimientos para acompañar... ...aquí en este tenemos un estofado de, un est eh, de atún, patatas con atún... ...llamado marmitaco, es un guiso de patatas con atún... ...en el siguiente tenemos unos tomates asados... ...tomates asados con pan, eh, ajo y perejil... ...y aquí tenemos pulpo... Cocido a la gallega con patatas, aceite y pimentón. Hello, good evening. I'm here at the Hotel Almulac in Riyadh. Very proud to be here representing my country, Spain. I come from the restaurant Taberna Lavardero, very famous in Madrid. And I'm going to show you the salads we prepare here for this event. We have a potato salad that we make up with the shrimp, tuna, and potato. Then we have a pepper salad uh, with olives, onions, and dressed with a special olive oil from Spain. Then here, or here, we have a spinach salad with goat cheese, pine, uh, pine nuts, and, and also a little bit of red onion, and with an a special vinegar um, dressing with honey. The next one, this is the starters. Uh, this is the main course now. We have the Hamilton green sauce, It's the green sauce is made of garlic, flour, and parsley. Then we have the oxtail. Oxtail is very typical. We do it with the, with the tail of the bull in Spain. And it's made with cinnamon and, and honey. It's very tasty. Very plain. It has a lot of plain flavors in your mouth. Then we have the squid with onion. That's uh, maybe a little bit strange for you here because it's not, we tried to get it and it was really, really hard to get it in the market. And we do it with a caramelized onion. It's very tasty, I hope you like it. And for finish, we have chicken in almond sauce. We do it with saffron and with chicken stock and a lot of veg. We also bring some, uh, some of our typical desserts, like bread pudding, bread pudding, Uh, natillas, that's not as translation to English, sorry. Uh, we have some strawberries from our country, dressed with orange juice, and creme caramel that you know all. And I think that's all. Uh, now we cook the paella, the most important plate in Spain. Uh, we put, this is a special pan. The name of, of paella is because the pan is paella, called paella. Uh, we put olive oil, we put calamari and a shrimp in a in cube, we cut in a cube and we put to cook. Now we put a mix of gar garlic and parsley. Uh, it's very important uh, uh, put more rice than seafood because the important of the paella is the rice, the flavor of the rice, not the, the garnish. We can put more olive oil, no problem, because the olive oil uh, gives uh, flavor. Now we put saffron. A leaf of saffron, not too much, because 
with with a, a little quantity of sif of saffron we take the color and the and the flavor and it's very expensive the saffron and now we put tomato in past or sauce whatever you want a fresh tomato cut and move all the ingredients all together means and finally we put some uh, sweet paprika but at the uh, at the finish because if the sweet paprika burn it tastes very bad now we put sweet paprika and now we put the fish stock fish stock we cook with uh, vegetable uh, like carrots, onion, leeks, tomato, uh, garlic, a lot of garlic, and fish bone, crabs, uh, yellow color, saffron, sweet paprika, all together boil. And always you must to all is plain, always in the in the same. All the same height. Yeah. Now. Uh, we put the, the fire uh, higher and when I put the rice all is boiled when I put the rice put the rice you know, like a bridge move the rice and after 10 minutes higher very higher boom boom five minutes medium fire and the three minutes uh, the rest three minutes slowly with the with the langoustein, lobster, clams. Now we will get back later for the rice. Okay. Okay, and now when all the pan is boiled, we put the rice, like a bridge, from here. el arroz de lado a lado haciendo como un puente uh, we put the rice from here to there like a bridge or rice this is the exactly exactly size to to do the rice and now moves and now we move all and now 20 minutes Twenty minutes. Uh, no, no, dry, dry. And now uh, boil all. Uh, Twenty minutes. Ten minutes higher. Five minutes medium. And three minutes. Now we put all the shrimp, the mussels, the lobster, and we finish with lemon. With lemon. And that's all. And now, enjoy. This is all. Now we're ready for eating. Now we're ready. A little bit for me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chef. Yes. Salmorejo. Salmorejo, empanadillas, croquetas. Queríamos haber hecho piquillo relleno, pero no hemos hecho piquillo relleno. Pulpo, pulpo, palmitaco.
uh, let me ask you about uh, what do you think about uh, Global uh, Food Festival being here and uh, how you do you feel about the sp uh, Spanish food uh, in uh, the festival for, for this, uh, this year? Well, you know, the festival is a very, um, I find, is an excellent initiative. One of the um, bridges, the easiest, probably the easiest one between different cultures is the food. When we uh, have the fortune of traveling around the world, we have the uh, opportunity to to see that uh, we all like good things. Huh? The way of cooking them may be very different from uh, each country, but uh, in the end, uh, what is good is good for everybody, not just for uh, the culture in which this kind of food is developed. The Spanish food has a uh, feature, a very important one, is very different. We have... Um, it, it's very, very different. We, we have, as you, as you will probably uh, notice here, uh, around this uh, beautiful table here, the, the Spanish food is extremely, uh, has extremely different uh, colors, different uh, components. Uh, Spain is a, is, a, is a country which has in itself very different colors, very different uh, aspects, very different cultures, if I may say so. And the food is a reflection of that. So uh, I very much hope that uh, in this food festival and in this hotel, the Spanish food is... Uh, able to show to the Saudi people in the Saudi authorities how, uh, how good it is. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. فندق المطلق بيشارك لأول مرة بمهرجان مأكولات العالمية حدثنا عن هذه التجربة وإذا حتعيدوا المشاركة مرة تانية بسني لقد طيب احنا اولا نشكر الهيئه السياحيه اللي سمحت لنا باش نشاركوا المشاركه الاولى. طبعا مشاركتنا جات من الخبره اللي قضيتها في الامارات 24 سنه واللي هالمهرجانات متواصله. ف نتمنى انه الفنادق تدعم الهيئه ب مش مره واحده انما مرات عديده نجموا نقوموا بهالمهرجانات. طبعا فيه استثمار مالي آه ربما نحتاج الدعم من ناحية المالية لأنه التكلفة متاع هذه تقريبا 200 ألف ريال مال لأنه يعني فيه ثلاثة طباخين جايين من مدريد مرتبات متذاكر فيه العرض اثنين آه اللي قدموا العرض الأسبانية فيه الديكو آه فالتكلفة غالية شوية المهم أنه أعتقد أنه تميزنا المرة هذه بالنسبة لجميع الفنادق والحمد لله طبعا استعدادنا كامل باش نزيد وندعم السياحة لأن السياحة لحالها لازمها يكون الفنادق على استعداد أن يواصل لجلب أكثر الزبان وزاد مع جلب الزبان نوفر للرياض مهرجانات مريحة بالنسبة للوافدين وبالنسبة للسعوديين في فترات محدة وخاصة فترة العطل المدرسية وما إلى ذلك فهذا هو أعتقد أنه نجاح ارتبط كثير بنوعية الطباخين اللي جاونا صراحة ممتازين جدا فالحمد لله جزاكم الله خير شكرا